Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Woodpeckers and nature's going wild today. It's been pretty amazing. Spring has sprung. I've been away for a few weeks doing other things, Easter holidays with the family and stuff like that, which has been awesome. Um, and in today's video, I'll be putting up a tarp, a DD three by three tarp, and showing you how to make it into a tent, which will have a floor side and walls, keep you nice and covered in the springtime if it rains, which you haven't had much of. But let's get started. Awesome. One DD tarp, this is a three by three. We've got that. What else we'll need is some walking poles. Nice, a walking pole there. If you don't have a walking pole, you can use a stick. There we go. Cool stuff. Right, let's get started. So, I've got a nice clear spot here. Clear it away. Now, I saw this recently with some friends camping with their tarps and I'd never seen the tarp set up like it before and I was like wow that's pretty awesome you've got an enclosure you've got a space to store your kit you can open up the sides of the door on it and it's really easy to make first of all we'll get our tarp out I've got pegs in there as well yeah those are pegs pegs and guys and stuff the outside is on laying on the ground. What I'll do is I'll properly clean the area because what I don't want is these tiny sticks poking through the bottom of my tarp. Now, some people don't like to put their tarp straight on the ground. They're quite precious of them and right precious of them and rightly so. Uh, if you've got the luxury of being able to carry two tarps or you've got your foil blanket, you can put that down first of all. Um, I've got enough space here. I'm quite happy that this will be okay here. So let's get this laid out. Got a nice space. I want to grab a couple of pegs. Here there are two pegs. I'm going to peg down a corner. So I'm just going to peg down this corner here. Fortunate, I've got soft ground here. And then pull this one so it is nice and tight. That's in, use my foot. He says using his foot. Maybe hit a rock. Let's take that out again. There you go, that one's gone in nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to peg in another loop. So I've got my center line here running across. From a corner, I'm gonna miss one loop out and go to the middle loop here. Peg that in, keeping everything nice and tight. And this bit here where you can see the crease running along here, this is going to be our sleeping area. So now what we do, is we'll come across here, fold this bit over. And you can see how that's going to work, like so. I'm going to try now with my walking pole. I don't think my walking pole is quite big enough because I'm quite a shorty, five foot eight and a half. Um, my walking poles aren't that massive. So let's just see. If the walking pole doesn't work, there's other methods, which is awesome, which I love about this. So extending the walking pole. Let's go to its absolute maximum right there. So which court, which hoop do I grab? I'm grabbing one from the corner, one, two, three, the third one in from the far corner, from a corner to the middle loop. It might, we might just be able to do it with this. So I'm just gonna put this over my walking pole. And you can see why this is, I love this shot because You've got your sides, you've got a side you can open up, you've got your door here you can get in and out. And I'll show you inside as well and you can see why I 
think this is one of my favorite types of tarp setups. So all I'm doing my guy rope is I've got a loop on the end there like so and I'm just going to put this through the handle of the walking pole and then thread that loop through there and that'll just lock it off nicely. Get a bit of tension I'm going to disappear for a second behind the tree Right, that is it basically done. So what you can do as well, you can open this up. If it's a nice hot summer's day, you can open this up out here with your other walking pole, which gives you a nice bit of space down there and to sit under, maybe have a fire, get all your, um, all your kit down there, have a cook, cooking under there, which is nice. If you need to be sheltered for whatever reason, you can peg this bit down, a bit more space, I can just, Put a guy in there which will lift that out which is always a good idea now if you wanted ventilation in this which is key because it does get a good bit of ventilation usually what i find when i'm doing these tarps is that um they do condense pretty easily they get lots of condensation in there um, which is always the battle so with this one you can open it up and get a nice bit of airflow and you shouldn't get that much condensation so i'll just pull that out to here peg in so if you have got inclement weather um, it's raining pretty windy you can just peg these bits down here to make it a bit more secure if you wanted to I do need a slightly longer pole on here because it's not quite as tight as it should be a cow hitch put a loop through the loop and then pull both the working and the non-working and right the way through And that cinches up like that and then we'll come to a tree if i'm tall enough so you can see if i tie that up to a tree i actually can't reach any branches where i am right now um, but that hold it nice and tight there and that'll be tied off to a tree if i was taller so that gives you an idea um, again if you didn't if there was no trees that you can reach like i can't because i'm a bit short and you haven't got a walking pole and you can use a stick so that's nice and tight there and what I'll do is wrap it over the top underneath and what that does that creates a clove hitch there we go that's a good good angle there and when you're looking at your angles for your guy lines and stuff try and make them a 45 degree angle it keeps everything nice and tight and regular then you can see with that taller stick actually everything fits a bit snug a bit more snug a bit nicer and kind of happy with that there we go so you can have this one as your door here you can have this one as your door here what i'm going to do now with my walking pole i'm going to open up this side here um, and show you what it looks like when it's open up it shows you your options um, i'll lower this down and this is it got a nice area to have a brew tarps up protected it's open like this is my number one favorite tarpology tarp for sure i don't know what it's called it's got a name but like it's it's my i'm going to be using this quite a lot throughout the summer and when i get out into the hills so i think it's a fantastic way to travel nice and light you can even get like this i don't know how much these dd tarps weigh but i can get the ultra light ones as well so it'd be much lighter than than some of the super light tents you get i think it's fantastic let me know in the comments what you think and if you can think of anything else any other tarp shapes you want to see or where you want me to put this up that'll be ace there we go birch bark what a wonderful material let that ignite
Now, you can see the smoke blowing into my, into my shelter right now. If I was gonna stay in this one tonight, which I'm not, by the way, um, then I would have checked for the wind. Um, and this is really good, this opening here, because if the wind's blowing across from behind me that way, I would open up that back door there. And as the wind blows across, it's got nowhere to eddy in and suck into my, suck into my shelter. Um, if it was coming the other way, you want one end, one end slightly open so the wind can just go across, run parallel to where you're sleeping. All I've done with this setup is I've, I've fortunately dig that, dug that stick, start that again. All I've done with this setup is I've pushed that stick into the ground and then put another like wedging stick underneath it here so it's got something to support itself on, like so. Awesome, so that's been a simple tarp shelter in the woods for all occasions, for bike packing, for hiking, for running, even if you're doing fast packing in the mountains. Simple tarp set up, you need a walking pole, you don't even need a walking pole, you just need some string to tighten a tree. Um, a little fire, a cup of tea. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe somewhere down here. There's a big button that says subscribe. Please do that. Please share with your friends. And most of all, please comment. I'd love to hear what you want to see next. Until the next one, to the wild.